hey guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to this wig tutorial this is a highly requested video and i'm going to be doing the stay soft method on this curly wig so you need a brush i'm using the tresemme smooth and silk shampoo and i'm using the moisture rich conditioner and then i'm just going to wet the hair and make sure that all the hair is saturated in water With curly hair, it's very important that you don't comb it out when it's dry because it's so easy for you to snag and tear the hair. So you can either detangle using shampoo or conditioner. Normally I use conditioner but today I'm going to show you guys how I detangle when the hair is lathered in shampoo. So I'm going to drizzle some shampoo on the hair. This is the one side of the hair. And then I'm going to work that in with my fingers in a downward motion. So from the root to the ends. And that is the motion I use because that way all the cuticles line up. If you do it in the opposite direction, you're just going to frizz up your hair. Then I'm going to take my brush. This is the brush I like to use for curls. And I am just going to brush. As you can see, I'm starting from the ends. Detangling hair is a process that takes a while so you want to take your time. I've just flipped the wig over and I'm going to drizzle shampoo on the other side of the hair and I'm just going to continue with the detangling process. You can keep adding shampoo, make sure that it's completely coated, you don't want to risk having dry patches where you're going to tear the hair. At this point you can see I can move the brush quite easily from the roots to the ends and that means I have done a very good job at detangling this hair. I'm just going to keep brushing through, see if I have any snags or any knots. And then I just want to show you this is the hair that shed from the curly hair. Don't be afraid, curly hair does shed quite a bit. If you feel satisfied with your detangling job, then you can rinse out the hair. If you still feel a little bit of knots, don't worry about it. You can always continue detangling when we condition the hair. So I'm just making sure to rinse out the hair. Make sure all the shampoo is out and then we will condition. So I'm going to be using that Tresemme Moisture Rich Conditioner and I'm just going to put this all over the hair, work it through with my hands, flip the hair over and add some more. I want to ensure that I coat every strand with this. This is a very nice conditioner for curly hair and my curly hair always comes out so soft. Once I've coated the hair in conditioner, I'm just going to give it a little brush to ensure that I don't have any tangles. And now it's time for our secret weapon, Stay Soft aka Fabric Softener. I'm going to put a cap of this. Make sure to plug your basin and then put this all over the hair. I'm going to work this through with my hands and just make sure that all that hair is coated. Then I'm going to grab my brush and I'm just going to brush it through. If it's not enough, you can add another cap. And I just added another cap of the fabric softener. Work it through the hair. Make sure all the hair is coated from the frontal or your closure, from the roots to the ends. Work it through with your brush. Thank you. 
and once you've worked that into the hair enough i'm just going to leave the hair in the basin for about 20 minutes after 20 minutes i'm going to come back and rinse um the fabric softener and conditioner off the hair with some lukewarm water don't use water that's too hot because you're then just going to strip the hair of that silkiness from the conditioner and the fabric softener very important you need to make sure you rinse your hair out thoroughly i am brushing the hair out i am rinsing it taking my time because you don't want your hair smelling like fabric softener and once that's done i'm just going to give it another brushing and my hair will be good To finish off, I am going to grab my Aunt Jackie's Curl La La Curl Defining Custard and I am going to scoop up some of that in my hand, rub it together and work it through the length of the hair. I find that this helps my curls become bouncier and a lot more defined and I definitely love how this smells. So I'm just going to brush that through my curls and at this stage I'm very happy the hair turned out so soft and clearly the fabric softener worked on my curls. So because I want to wear my curls in the wet look, I went and waited for it to dry up a bit. But whilst it was still damp, I put some foam wrap mousse on it and I brushed it through the hair. And then I kept on brushing my curls out. As you can see, this is what they look like. I would highly recommend you try this on your curly hair. Let me know how it goes with you. Please don't forget to comment, like, share and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.